All right, hello again, everybody, for uh, this episode of my One Bad DJ Fishing. What we're gonna end up doing is uh, making a couple of modifications to the kayak um, in preparation for a trip that I'm gonna have out in uh, probably tomorrow or Wednesday. First thing I wanted to do, because my ass is old and I need help standing up, is I'm gonna put a uh, strap in the cup holder right here so that when I'm sitting, I can just grab a hold of that, put my feet down, and uh, stand up. You know, like I said, when you're old, you need help getting it up and all that good stuff. So. This is what we're gonna do to, uh, to fix that issue. And it's a super simple process. All I did is I took a, a 10,000 pound toe strap that I had, cut off about uh, probably 15 inches of it. And then uh, you burn the ends of it to make sure that it's not gonna fray up on you. And then I just took a screwdriver, heated it up, poked a hole in it. And that's where my uh, stainless steel washer or screw's gonna go. And it's just stainless steel uh, hardware that I had sitting around a bunch of little hardware kits from uh, when I had the boats and all that good stuff. So, just gonna run it exactly like I would do anything else, man. But uh, the key thing is making sure your hardware is stainless steel. Because out here in the salt water, it's definitely gonna rust if you don't make it stainless steel. So, bang. Put the screw through the strap, nice and simple. Kinda holds itself in place. I already drilled the hole, just a simple quarter inch hole in the cup hole there. Thought of uh, all kinds of different places to put it. Ended up going in the uh, the cup hole, mainly because uh, it's just out of the way right there. Could have put it on the side, could have put it anywhere. Would have made things a little bit harder to get to, you know, uh, inside the kayak, the cup holder. You know, you just open up the hatch, bang, cup holders right there. Be super simple. So, stall this thing real quick. And uh, the second thing that I put on here is a. Uh, cutting board piece because I was sitting out there uh, using cut mullet and stuff like that out on the water and I was cutting it on the top of my uh, oh, I forgot to put this in the drill I was cutting it on the top of my um, hatch here which was basically cutting up the hatch I don't want to cut up my hatch I don't want to mark up my kayak any more than necessary you know and uh, to me, that's just unnecessary. And what I will show you in about two seconds here, once I zip this screw in, is uh, I just took a piece of cutting board that we found over at the swap meet yesterday for a buck. Bam. Tighten that up a little bit more. But we went over to the swap meet, found a uh, cutting board for a dollar, and then uh, chopped a piece of it out. Gorilla glued it on there. Like I said, once I get done here, I'll show you guys that in a couple of seconds. Man. Really need an offset screwdriver for that. But whatever. I'll be able to get it off if I need to later. I'll just tighten up the nut from the inside. Dang. Torque it down nice and tight. Got a lock washer on the inside in there. That way it won't unscrew from whatever, you know, vibrations. But bang solid yeah figure if it holds 10,000 pounds of cargo it should be able to hold me help me stand up <laughs> so that was quick clean and easy then the uh the second thing like i was saying oh man excuse the sweat here been uh working out prepping this and work out prep this you know back and forth but i uh just took a piece of a cutting board you know like i said got it for a buck at the swap meet cut it to size to fit right here um Gorilla glued it on there. Yeah, it looks kind of funky because the Gorilla glue foam, foams up and squeezes out. But I uh, put a 10 pound kettlebell on there to hold it still. And it's rock solid. Now I can sit here and cut up mullet and all that good stuff all day long. And uh, I won't have to worry about you know screwing up my kayak and messing it up or anything. One tip to keep it from getting inside your uh, your hatch there and gluing your hatch shut. You know, it got a little bit on there, but I just took some three in one oil on a rag rubbed it on there you can use vegetable oil basically anything that's going to stop it from sticking and uh that way you don't glue your hat shut and then uh the little bitty drips that i did have you know after i came out here i wiped it off pretty regular um just cut it with a razor real quick clean and easy and last but not least this one's all interior on the battery compartment you know a little battery tray all it is i took a plano tackle box cut the little pieces out of it and then i uh, took a bungee cord and you run it from end to end on the battery, but what I found was is uh, it wasn't stopping the battery from falling out if I turtled the kayak. You're never gonna flip end over end, but you will turtle side to side. 
So I just modified it real quick, put this in there so it's gonna go side to side and uh, hold my battery down that away. And it also holds the wiring to the top of the battery so the wiring isn't flipping around or anything like that. But uh, that's uh, three quick modifications there to the, uh, to the kayak. Hopefully it's gonna make for a awesome trip. Man, I should put this camera down before I start making people sick. <laughs> Boom. But uh, hopefully it's gonna make for a uh, much more enjoyable trip and help me get standing up, because out here on these flats, I really noticed that the last two times I was out, I wanted to stand up. But uh, yeah, I just can't stand up no more. I gotta have that strap. <laughs> Well, until next time, man, uh, I will put this on YouTube, and then we will get out and get this stuff all tested out. And uh, we're going to shoot out of Honeymoon Island next time. We found that state park, and see if we can't hit some snook in them little passes and hit up the mangrove islands out there and all kinds of cool stuff. But until next time, tight lines, man.